screen, everyone. So, ayan. Um, gagawin ko na rin yung some of the reviewers. Okay, na kailangan yung aralong. Okay. So, ayun. So, ay, yun. Tinanggal ko na yung contact list. Kasi medyo irritated na. Kasi I've been using it for the whole day na. So, I removed my contact list. Anyway, walang connect yun sa reviewer natin. But actually, meron. Okay, kasi like, yeah, hindi siya comfortable. Ayan. Anyway, going back, moving back to my video. So, ano ba yung mga i-re-review ninyo? And i-explain ko, especially for those medical uh, virtual assistant na mag apply you no know, without experience, especially those who are not nurses or doctors for nurses and doctors it's gonna be easy for them to answer or to understand what is so deep so means subjective objective huh so wait i have to research in them but uh sure na right? but i'm going to explain it to you Okay? <clears throat> oh, yeah. So, we have SOAPI. S-O-A-P-I-A. What is S? Okay. SOAPI means S stands for subjective. O is for objective. Next is analysis. A. P is for plan. I is in, <clears throat> I'm sorry, implementation and evaluation. Okay. So for instance, what is so P? Subjective. So pag sinabing subjective, document should include what the patient says or information that only the patient can provide personally. This include perceived pain symptoms such as spilling or numbness or tingling, uh, tingling, medical and family history and allergy. This information is gathered through asking the patient's question and it's important to report exactly as the patient reports. So, ang subjective, sabi. Parang ano na rin to? Uh, review sa PNLE. Okay, subjective. Ito yung sinabi. Okay, this for sure, for nurses and doctors, it's going to be easy for you to understand kasi ginagawa natin pa sa hospital. But for those like vets, pharmacists, med tech, and other medical allies, so ito na yung chance niyo for you to understand. So, so be, so be subjective sabi. Okay, so during the subscribing sa, ano, nagsasubscribe kasi din kaya sa med medical virtual assistant. Okay, for some doctors, uh, ayan, meron din tayo sa transcribing. I'm sure na binibili din ni medic ni Medma to, na training after the two weeks training. So they will give you another opportunity for you to have the training for transcribing. Okay. Transcribing ba? Ayan. Ibig sabihin, habang nag-check up si doctor, nakikinig kayo doon, and then kina-transcribe niyo yung sinasabi ng patients and doctors. Okay, so ito nga yun. Ito rin ay examinations. Hello range also. Okay, so during the examination sa hello range also, you must know this. And it's going to be easy for you to have the examination if you know the meaning of a SOP. I mean, SOP or SOP notes. Again, subjective sabi. So, habang nakikinig tayo sa patient, nagsasalita yan ng kanyang complaints, yung feelings niya, like, alam natin yan. So, kunwari, ito yun, naging pasyente. Anong tatanangin niya, doctor? O, oh, anong naramdaman mo? Diba? Si Tayshia, sasabihin niya, masakit ang shen ko. So, yun na. Ito-type nila yun. Pakinggan na yun. So, yun. 
So, minsan, sasabihin niya, ah, nasa katensyon po. Tapos, sasabihin ni doctor ilang beses. Siya nagsuka. Ganon. Yung pain scale. Naging answer din to. Pain scale from 1 to 10. 1 is the weakest or hindi siya gano'n painful. And 10 is yung pinakamasakit. Okay? So, so tatanungin usually ni doctor, ano yung pain mo? So, we have pain scale 1 to 10. 1 is the masakit. Hindi masyadong masakit. And 10 is super sakit. Okay? And sa sabi ni patient, uh, mga 8. So, yan. Hindi maganda pag pain. Ka 8. Ibig sabihin, masakit na masakit siya. Pag 1, it means tolerable. Subjective sa sinasabi ni patient. Clear? Next objective. Records that what the nurses observe, hear, sees, and feels during the patient. Okay. So, assessment. The types of assessment performed independent and the facility uh, the patient in and on the medical diagnosis and the patient complaints. Objective. Ito, you will not repeat down now. Okay. Kung ano yung naririnig mo. So, you have to observe. Objective. Ito yung nakikita. Like, kanwari, na, na yan, uh, slurred speech, hindi matino yung pagsasalita niya, disoriented, kapag hindi tama-tama yung, yung mga sinasabi niya, ano pa ba? Basta kung ano yung nakikita mo, kanwari, meron siyang rashes, meron siyang skin rashes, and then, Yun, yung mga nakikita ni nurses. Okay, and then analysis, A. A, after subjective and objective assessment, after sinabi ni patient, nakita ni nurses, so nakolect mo na yung mga data mo, di ba? So, usually, si doctor, mag, ah, ano yun ng diagnosis, kung ano ba ang meron. Like, for instance, gastritis, kasi masakatong siya niya. Ganon, sobrang uh, kininom niya ng alcohol, ganon. I don't know, but then again, it is still the doctor who will give the diagnosis, not the nurses, of course. Common sense na lang sa atin yun. Ayan, so, ano naman yung sinabi ni doctor? Okay, the diagnosis is gastritis. Ayan, pain scale is 8. Ganon. Okay? And then, next. Since na-diagnose ni, do ni doctor, kung ano yung diagnosis, kung ano yung nangyayari kay patient, meron tayong plan. Planning. Not only for the doctors, but during this time, we have to listen carefully. So, si doctors, ano si silitayan? Plan. Planning. Once an initial nursing diagnosis has been identified, the diagnosis na ni doctor, the nurse must create a plan of action. So again, si doctor magsasabi yan kasi meron, <clears throat> meron mga medication siyang ibibigay. Okay? And then, syempre, sasabihin mo na ni doctor. And then, you also have nurses, or not only for nurses, mean, uh, meron din tayong mga dapat ibigay sa mga patients. Although, again, hindi natin sila nakikita or ano, mostly si doctor yung magbibigay ng planning. Ano ba yung plan ni doctor? Like, for instance, sasabihin niya, uh, you have to take this medication. Okay. With sa mga medication, kailangan alam niya din. Yung PRN, as needed, uh, twice, Again, PRN, as needed. Uh, for Oren, I'm going to wait. Kasi uh, sa next uh, video ko na lang yun. Okay? Yeah, basta may, uh, you have to know the medical terms like uh, kung ilan beses or kailan mo pa pa need it. Again, yun lang natapanagdaan po. PRN, as needed. Kung kailangan lang. Like, for instance, para sa thermal, kung meron fever si patient, as needed. Then, walang din lang niya, it will take. Okay? So, that is planning already. Next. 
implementation so after the plan of action so sabi nga ni doctor okay after the plan of action has been decided the action should be put into motion sometimes versus plan does not like, go exactly as planned and that is to be expected it is important to document all the intervention performed and even the one that we were attempted so again implementation so of course the doctor will be beginning on a meditation Meron bibigay ng patient's education. Meron niya bibigay ng ano yan? instruction and how to take the medication. Sabi ko nga, uh, okay, search ko na nga. PRN, medical abbreviation. Ayan, PRN is pro-neta. That means as the thing needed. Okay, as needed lang. Okay, what else? Ano pa ba? Kale, bibigay ko na. Hintay kayo. Sorry na. Hmm. Then... Ah, o oh, nga pala, even the medical prescription, ito, buti na, ano ko, na, ala na ko, medical prescription. So, you have to know what is Rx. What's the meaning of Rx? Okay. Uh, ah, yun pala, dun sa, oh, dun sa reviewer na uh, ibibigay ko, nandoon, napaka-generous ni applicant. Ano ko, sa pangalan niya? Paul. So, ayun, dun sa reviewer na ginawa niya, you would definitely know yung mga abbreviation. Okay, so again, nasa implementation na tayo. Ibig sabihin po ano ang plano ni doctor for the patient. That is implementation or intervention. And lastly is evaluation. Finally, outcome of the intervention needed to be evaluated. This evaluation often including messes in the patient. If the evaluation reveals that an intervention did not work, a different plan may need to be made. Repeat the last few steps as necessary until satisfactory outcome is reached. Evaluation. So, yun, um, after the checkup, so the doctor will give the patient's instruction. Like, kailan sila mag, kailan kayo, kailan siya ulit mag, and then, back of checkup. So, you have to know that. Okay, so again, that is so P. For those medical allied, na hindi nurses or hindi doctors, at least naiintindihan niyo na kung ano mga ginagawa namin sa hospital. Kasi ano, for, for medical technologies, yung ginagawa niyo is, is to check the blood. Right? Yun naman ang hindi namin alam. And then for pharmacists, mostly sa medication, medication. At least meron kayong idea, advantage niyo rin, like uh, ano yung, yung mga side effects, ganun ganang. I'm sure that you also know some terms, medical terms. But then again, ito muna. So, P is very crucial. When I say crucial, crucial is very important for you to know. Okay, so again, this is not only for medbob, but also for LOH. Ayan, so I hope makatulong sa inyo what is so P. Okay? Isa ito. Next naman yung HIPA. What is HIPA? Again, do not also forget uh, medical prescription. What is Rx? You can also search your back. Okay, so perhaps another video na naman yun. Medyo I am tired talking already. <laughs> so, and I hope that you've learned something from this. Okay, so see you again. Bye!